G'day folks, Greg here. Well, it's product review time and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here! On the menu, slow cooked beef and gravy roll. How good does that look? It looks almost good enough to eat! And with a photo like that on the front, you can almost guarantee that it's not going to look like that. Or is it? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. I'm going to cook one up and give it the old taste test and see if this on the menu beef and gravy roll is worth buying or not. So anyway, as per usual, let's suss out the ingredients. Let's see how much beef is actually in this thing. Okay. So, sesame seed roll, 63%. Wheat flour. Beef and gravy sauce, beef, 17%. Fried onions and gravy mix. Flavor enhancers, natural flavors. Sugar, tomato paste, corn flour, spices. Yada, yada, yada. So it's 17.5% meat. Well, I would have expected it to maybe at least be 50%. But it is on the menu and we all know how cheap and nasty they are. Now I'm guessing this isn't good for you. So let's suss out the ingredients and just uh, to justify my reasonings. <laughs> Energy, 1420 kilojoules. So you could have like six of these in a day and still stay under your daily average intake. If you're like an 8,700 kilojoule person, me, I'm like a 11,000 kilojoule person because I'm massive. So I could eat like 10 of them. Or maybe nine. Or eight. It's 9.5% protein. It's only 3.9% fat. Carbs is 30%. And sodium is 519 milligrams. So you could have seven of these in a day, but it's got a 30 a daily salt intake. That's not a very good thing. Unless of course your doctor prescribes salt for you. If you have salt deficiency, I don't know anyone that would have a salt deficiency though, do you? Maybe if it was a salt water swimming pool, which it isn't. Although I haven't tasted it yet, it might be. Now let's hope this is microwavable because if it's not, then I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Microwave. Oh, well, thank God for that. Remove contents from carton. Open bag and remove frozen product with tray. Heat on high for two minutes. Remove from microwave. Allow stand for one minute and serve. All right, so we just nuke it for two minutes. Anyway, let's open it up and see what we're getting ourselves in for. Ugh, okay. Now, it's only 160 grams, which is pretty pathetic. Oh. Look at that. That looks absolutely horrible. So let's take it out of the bag. We can suss it out a bit better. All right, there's a sesame seed bun. There's the water starting to grow on the beef. Unless it's mold, of course. Could be, you never know. But uh, that's what it looks like. Pretty pathetic, but I'll tell you what, it's a good eight and a half inches long with a girth of two and a half inches almost oh boy all right well i'm sold i don't even have to microwave it now oh just need to stop it down there oh, yeah. all right so into the mcnuka for two minutes one two buff okay dun, 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 dun. here we have it well I mean, it's a good solid eight and a half inches, let's face it. Still nice and warm. And inside, that slow cooked beef looks and smells pretty good. If it had any on it, I mean, there's hardly any there. 17%, I reckon it's more like 3%. And for like three or four bucks, or however much this thing cost, I mean, that's abysmal. I could go to McDonald's and get four $1 hamburgers. It would satisfy me way more than this eight and a half inches. Yes, Let's try some of this meat. Hmm. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like that braised steak and onion that you get in the tins. I reckon if you put that in some bread, it may it taste just the same. Probably better. Ah, oh, I remember that stuff. I used to make jaffles with it. I'm pretty sure the skin on the roof of my mouth still hasn't grown back after 40 years. <laughs> Used to take the skin off, didn't it? Anyway, let's give this eight and a half inches of 17% meat a go.
chewy. Lots of gravy. Unless the gravy has just made the bread soggy inside and that's giving it some moisture. There is adequate moisture there. Unlike the meat content, which is very inadequate. I mean, look, you can see through it. I'm, I'm sure there's a gap that was there. Here we go. I can see through it. It's like, it's like an eight and a half inch meat telescope. <laughs> which sounds like something I would really love to look at the stars with. Now, unlike that other on the menu thing that I tried, where the bun got like <laughs> rock hard, this eight and a half inches of meat hasn't gone rock hard. In fact, it's still got some limpness about it, which is for the first time, a good thing. The meat and the gravy, well, it is salty enough. <laughs> well, it should be, it's got a 30 a daily salt intake. And it does have some flavour. The flavour is alright. But just look at that. Would you serve it up to your mother? That's, that's the question that we're all asking. Would you feed your mother that eight and a half inches of meat? <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't. She'd probably want to cut it into one inch bits and uh, serve it with some dip. But uh, there you go, on the menu, roast beef and gravy roll. Is it worth getting? Well, I tell you what, I wouldn't be rushing to the shops and getting another one of these things, that's for sure. Is it worth keeping in the freezer for that odd occasion where your taste buds have died and you're thinking, oh, what can I eat that tastes really salty? Has got some flavor. Uh, is, you know, got bread and heaps of carbs, lots of salt and hardly any meat. Oh, I know. And on the menu, roast beef and gravy roll. If that's the sort of person you are, then this is the, this is the roll for you. If you're not that sort of person, then I'd be avoiding this like heading to the city during a climate protest. But anyway, there you go, on the menu. What do you reckon about that? Is it something that you eat? I'll tell you what, it's not something that I would normally eat. And there's a very good reason for that. It's because it's not that good. That's all today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'll review something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the reviews are finger.